Hi, welcome to one of our training videos for the Garmin eTrex SE. This is actually an extract from one of our videos that we have in what we call the online resource. The online resource is the GPS training online training course that you can access 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's packed full of videos. There's well over 20, 30 videos about how you use the Garmin eTrex SE. And this is the ones that you get free. You can sign up for a free option, but alternatively, you can sign up for a premium option. And with that, you get access to all the training videos. We've actually also got an offer in place that if you get a discount code from the uh, link below, you actually also get email support as well as access to the training video. So as you work through those videos, if you have this, what we call a bronze support package, if you have any questions about how you use Garmin eTrex SE, you also have access to our tech team who can help you through those problems. I very much hope you enjoy the video and if you can support us here at GPS Training, it would always be very much appreciated. Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, we're just gonna turn on our Garmin eTrex SE device for the first time, and just a general overview of the button control on the unit. So in the back of the unit, we've actually put a set of AA batteries. We're using some NIMH rechargeable batteries today. So I'm just gonna put the back back on as we showed you on our first video. And to turn the unit on, we've got this on-off power button just on the top of the unit. So if I just hold that in for a couple of seconds and let go, you'll see this Garmin splash screen starts to come on. And the first thing it's asking for is language. So just going through some of the button controls now, we've got the up and down. So you'll see that as I press the down button, little black line goes alongside the various language options. I'm just gonna take it back up to the English. And then we're on the English language here with a black line to the left of English and it's the OK button to go into a menu to say yes, that's what I want to do. So the OK button, it says OK in the top right. So it's this top right hand button. So I press that. That's now going into the English language. Now the first thing it wants you to do is pair it with your phone in the Garmin Explore app. The Garmin Explore app is a great way to be able to send and transfer routes to your unit sync any activities and view them on a map on your phone of where you've been. You can actually use the device paired with maps that you download to the Garmin Explore app to actually see yourself moving on a map on your phone, but the GPS data is actually from the SE unit. We are gonna do another video where we cover pairing with the app. So if we did say get started and press OK, it would want us to then put the app onto our phone and start the pairing process. I'm just gonna skip this for the moment, just so we can go through what we actually do with the buttons, but we are gonna have a video further down in this set of videos on pairing with the Explore app. You don't have to use it with the app. If you do have a Windows computer and you're gonna use a computer to transfer routes to the device and take stuff out that you've recorded on the device to open in a third-party map software, you don't necessarily have to use the Garmin Explore app. So where it says get started, rather than pressing the OK to start the pairing, just for this initial video, I'm just gonna use the down button to where it says skip, and then press the OK button. So now it's just giving me some little shortcut screens telling you what various options on the unit do. So it's telling us to open the tracking uh, option. We can look at the map compass and tracking data. So I'm gonna say OK there navigational controls it's just giving us a bit more information about what we get from the navigation controls okay again and button shortcuts it's telling us how buttons are marked so the holding the okay button marks a waypoint holding the back button opens and um, what they call a glances menu which i'm going to show you so i'm just going to say okay there and we've now got the unit ready to go once we've went through just the basics of the buttons and how you move around the screens on our next video, we'll go through the settings that we change on the units before we send them out. And then we'll start going into more detail on all the various options as we start doing videos on using all the functions on the unit. I can see just by looking at the screen at the moment, it's showing me that it's acquiring satellites. I'm in a building at the moment. So I'll just tilt that so you can see that with the light. So it's acquiring satellites at the top because I'm in a building, I haven't got a clear view of the sky. The actual far left, I can actually see some bars that have just got a couple lit up. That would be actually the satellite indicator. 
battery indicator I can see is the next one along and the current time of day. Now the time of day is based on satellite data so once it gets a satellite signal that will correct itself if the time is incorrect. So while I'm on this first screen, now that I've turned the unit on, just to give you an idea of the buttons, it's not going to be an in-depth going into every menu, and um, we're going to do that as we go through the videos on showing you how you track your, um, record your activities, navigate and all those things with the unit. But we've simply got the up and down button, so if I use those first, you'll see as I move down the screen, I get this little black line alongside the option that you want to go into. So if I moved it on to say the satellite one there, and then press the OK button to say that's the menu I want to go into from these main menus. That is a satellite screen showing me as it tries to lock onto satellites. A grid reference at the minute, I haven't changed it to British National Grid that we will be doing, but we'll get a grid reference here. We're getting height data from GPS and accuracy. So it actually is trying to lock onto satellites, even though we're in a building that's pretty good to see that we've actually got um, nearly all the bars lit and it's going down to 20 meters accuracy. Of course, that will change when we've got a clear view of the sky. When you want to come out of a menu that you've went into, the back button is this little curly arrow here. It's the bottom right hand button, single press, and back out of that menu. And again, I can move up now. You see actually it's got a time and distance because it's actually started tracking because it's now got a satellite signal. We are gonna show you how we turn off the automatic tracking and you manually start that as we get into the videos. So you wouldn't actually see that at the top. So I'm just using the up button again, just going up and down. If I go down to settings say, so where it says settings, press the OK button and it lets me go into settings so I can change settings for recording, map, system settings, just give you an idea. I press OK and I'm into system settings and then again, sub menu, you just use the down arrows or the up arrows to change whatever you want to change. Battery type there is an important one. We will do this when we do settings, but I need to change that by pressing OK. Now I'm using standard NIMH rechargeable batteries and I'll press OK to select that. So it's just giving you a general feel of the buttons. Back arrow to come out. It shows me I'm in the settings menu still. Back arrow to come back out. Now I know it mentioned um, when we first turned the unit on that the back arrow button, if we hold it in, sorry, it takes us to this shortcut glances screen. I'm assuming one press of the back button that will take us back out. So yeah the back button is a quick access to a screen they call the glances. So holding that button in I can now see compass information about sunset. Weather data you will only see when it's um, paired with a, a phone in the Garmin Explore app. It tells us some information about the moon. Geocaching if we're geocaching. If you have got it paired with a phone, any notifications of someone messages you on your phone and you've got this device paired with Bluetooth to the Explore app, you'll actually see the messages in here. So if I wanted to go into one of these options again, I'm just using the up button. So if I pressed OK, I've got the little black line to the side of compass. I'm now on the compass screen. If there's a sub menu for a screen you're on, you'll see three white lines at the top. Pressing the OK button shows me a sub menu for that screen that I'm on. We will be showing you how you calibrate the compass on later videos. Back arrow takes me back out. Back arrow takes me back out again. Just gonna go one more back press. We're back to the main menu. If I turn the unit up and just where they've got the on off button, with the on off button, that does bring the backlight on. If I hold the on off button in, it takes me to some extra screens. So actually, I think if you continuously hold it in, which I'll show you when we're finished, it will power the unit off force. But what you find is just by holding it in for a few seconds, we've got the option here of power off. So if I move the arrow up, and then I'll press OK to select power off. But here I've got options like backlight. So if I press OK, you can see what the backlight set it. I'm just gonna put that a little bit higher with us being inside. And it's got various other options here from using the on off button to get to these shortcut menus. So again, it's just showing you various things on the unit that you can access. So I'll just show you that again. If I press the back button, back to the main menu, the on off button held in for a few seconds and let go. And then I've got this quick menu where we can actually see the option for power off. And the final thing I'll just show you, just so we've went through all the buttons, the OK button we know goes into a menu, but actually if you hold the OK button in, 
it actually gives you the option to mark a waypoint and then because there's an extra menu we can look at information about this i don't actually want to mark this one so i'm just going to go down to delete we will be covering marking waypoints in further videos so i've just deleted that there now so i'm actually going to turn the unit off now and then we'll start doing more videos where we go into the pairing with the phone and lots more videos on each of these menus and what we're using the various menus for but what we're going to cover next is setting up the unit because if you haven't purchased your unit from gps training we um, do actually set the units up with some recommended settings so we're just going to show you those recommended settings on the next video so to turn the unit off i'm going to hold the on off button in just for a few seconds and let go and then I'm going to move the arrow up to power off and then press the OK button and that will power the unit off. So I hope you found this video useful on just a quick overview on accessing menus and using the button controls. And thanks for watching.